Sabi Productions Incorporated is a 501c3 non-for-profit corporation. Our mission statement is to sponsor and produce experimental theater, video, and events that address health, political, and socioeconomic issues affecting historically underserved individuals, cultures, minorities, and communities. Through artistic and cultural programming, we build and strengthen communities, develop future leaders, promote human development, and create opportunities for youth and adult artists of all disciplines. Well, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Joshua's House for Christian Artists. I'm your host, Apostle Dr. Lois Sullivan Gibson, better known as SMR, up here in the Treasure State of Montana. Today, it is a warm 24. We thank Jesus for that because it was a minus 17 a few days ago. And I'm really? saying you, that wind chill factor, it said frostbite. So we just bless the Lord for the warmth and the sun. And I'm so excited to have on my show today one of our old friends who is a who is something else. And let's first of all, let's give him his accolades. <laughs> this is our artist, Reggie McGee, better known as RMG. I call him the black crooner of the word. His style of music is of a crooner. His style of music draws an individual to go and sit down or get up and move in celebration of the joy of the Lord. Get comfortable, for we're going on a love journey of words and the sounds of love to the Lord. Excitement is in this journey, and it is contagious. Hallelujah! <laughs> Amen, sister. Amen. Amen, doctor. Let me tell you, I am so excited to have you on so my viewers can get to see you because let me tell you, when I had met you some years ago when you did yeah. the song, The Only Way. Yeah. That song yeah. was no joke. But we're going to we're gonna do these songs in concession, but I just okay. want to know, I'm, if we have a lot of new and we got a couple of old ones. And let me right. tell you something, whether it's new or old, trust me, they still got that power, that flavor, that flow, that excitement, and you can sit down and recognize, especially if you're part of the OG crew, and even the new G, the, the little young little ones coming up, mm -hmm. they can flow with it too. And right. it's all the word mixed with music. I want you to tell our listeners about what it takes to produce music. Well, sister, first of all, I want to thank you for having me, number one. And I appreciate all the years that we've been uh, vibing together. Amen. And, and the time that God has blessed you with and the moves he's done for you. But as far as producing, it, you know, for me, I'm not one of these guys who likes to just spit out music like a factory. Music has to come to me and I have to sit at, sit with it for a while. Amen. And when that happens, and it seems, especially for me, when, when the time is right, the Lord allows me to get into a flow and it just flows very easy. But uh, if I'm it, it, sometimes when you're just struggling with it, you struggle with it. It's just not it's, it's not something that I can do very well. So from a production perspective, it starts with that and then and then move on. It is, you know, a brother of mine and I'm, I'm going to mention him. We we wish we wish he could be with us. But Bill Woodson, yes, yes. co-producer of mine, he normally starts with music. 
he, it starts with him giving me music. Okay. And, and I listen at it. I listen at it. Sometimes I can listen at it. I've listened at one of his songs for, I think, four or five years mm -hmm. before anything came to me. And when it comes to me, it comes right. The music is right. The lyrics are right. It all blends. But And then from there, we just kind of vibe together. We I, I do a lot of the uh, uh, audio, a lot of the arranging, and a lot of the uh, final production in, in my home studio. So it's kind of is a it's a collaboration but at the same time uh he does what he does well and then he lets me do what I do well I thank you for stating that you get it but you have to sit with it basically you have to wait till the holy spirit give you what you need before Absolutely. you can produce right. cuz I I understand because I have to wait and I tell people all the time when you want something from me, you got to wait till the Holy Spirit downloads it in me. Amen. None of this comes from me. He always is not that smart, but my sheep know my voice and they obey. Amen. Life Amen. is made easy because I sit and I wait. Amen. I, tell you, Amen. I know anything I produce, it comes out excellent. Amen. Pay no because attention to anybody that says anything else because that lets me know they hate. Sit down and spend the time with the Holy Ghost talk to you. That's 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 the key. Letting the Holy Spirit move you and waiting to get into his flow when 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 he stirs the water. That's it. That's when you get into get into it. Well, yes, look, we got a special guest that just popped in. I told him I was <laughs> wanting him to be able to say, hey, because we all go way back. <laughs> yes, amen. Uh, all the way back to the first, oh. first video that we did. Amen. Well, everybody, I don't know if y'all know it, but this is my buddy, my buddy and my sponsor of, of uh, Josh's House for Christian Arb. Artists, this is sponsored Wabi Sabi Productions Incorporated Radio Network up there in the Boogie Down Bronx. And I and I told him I was interviewing Reggie, and I said, "Man, you got to come on so he can see you. You got to give him that surprise." Oh okay. yeah. Um, before we go hey. any further, Emmett, I, I, see, I sent that music to Emmett after I sat down with it. I said, "Yo, man, you got to check this out." Hey, so Emmett. Emmett, tell him, tell him what how you felt about the music, <laughs> man. Emin, how you doing, bro? I'm doing okay. How are you? Good. I, I tell you, you know, you have grown so even mm. more musically than back mm. in, from heaven. I mean, it's just tremendous. You know, what you're doing is obviously you're very blessed and gifted. Mm -hmm. uh, and I know that you're going to continue to uh, share and create that music that inspires us. It uh, invigorates us and makes us believe that the, the, what we're doing in our life is worthy and is blessed. And so uh, I was stomping my feet. I'm like, man, I'm here patting my foot. <laughs> <laughs> it really moves. And so, you know, I just want to thank you uh, for doing what you do and doing it with such passion and, and commitment. Uh, for all these years, because many times people start something and they just, you know, they don't get what they want out of it, maybe, and they move on. But you have stayed steadfast uh, with what you're doing, and I appreciate, I'm sure, everyone who hears your music, and I know he knows. <laughs> <laughs> when she gets excited, she said it to me. I'm like, oh, let me check it out. It was really, really bad. So congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, brother. I I, I, I miss that voice. It's <laughs> <laughs> my famous voice now. <laughs> yes, People's... it is going to be on our show, uh, I think, uh, the 17th, St. Patrick's mm -hmm. Day. Because, you know, and since that time with you, Emmett has, is a film uh, award mm. winner of so many, and his 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 things about working with the disabled and wow. what's happening to the disabled and the handicapped and the mm. things that they're doing and and he's done a documentary plus he has his own out now and I'm telling you I'm getting ready I'm enjoy doing that interview with him and everything wow. because it's like he said we've all been seasoning growing and mm. allowing the Lord to cultivate 
the gifts that are in us, you know, we, many have gifts and talents. Right. We've been using ours and growing it and maturing it. We're not right. letting it sit on the side. And, and, and it's amazing to find the things that are inside of us and how God connects us with like-minded individuals, Amen. which allows us to push each other. You know, mm -hmm. Emmett and Emmett and Barbara, they're they my biggest cheerleader. I can come and say, yo, Emmett, the Lord gave me this to do. And this. he said, OK, boss, go for it. Now, I would tell certain other people, they're like, oh, really? So mm -hmm. I don't so I don't my my moves. I sit with Emmett first. I got I do a video chat. Real, yo, man, check this out. Yo, what's up, yo, gang? You know, we that's my 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 cheerleading squad, you know, that I've had since 2009 when I was homeless. When God gave me a family. I was in the DV, I was in a DV shelter. And he said he didn't even know it till a year later when I told him. I, he said, I had no idea that's where he, we were. Cause mm. listen, I was doing the ministry. God connected me with him. He had shows off Broadway. I was videotaping. That's why I began my also my first uh off Broadway, uh, mommy, why'd it have to end this way? God said, mm. cause Emma said, I need you to do this. And God mm. said, yeah, it's time to begin the healing. And I did that piece, man. And, and who is, you know, we've been Amen. connected ever since. Other people fell by the wayside because they wanted to jump on board, but they didn't want to do no work. Mm. This is work. Mm. Your, your thing is work. Can't be connected to you if they don't want to do work. Look, look at the hours we put in Absolutely. Yeah. representing Jesus. We don't come out with no, no sloppy nothing because God don't give us sloppy anything. No, no. You know, you know, sister, that you, I had initially did this. These I initially did these songs and I listened at it and I listened at it and I said, it's not right. Mm -hmm. I had to start from scratch. I had to do it all over again. I had to take it all the way down to the studs all, 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 and, and build it back up and oh, to feel comfortable with it because you don't want to feel, the last thing you want to do is two years from now, listen at it and cringe. Yeah. You know, things that you just didn't, you just didn't like. You wanted to sit with. You want to be. You wanted to have this so that if you listen at it five years from now, you still get that same feeling that you got the first time you heard it. That's what I was after, and that's what I was looking to do this time. Well, Reggie, Reggie, you can't do anything but that because a couple of your songs, my faith was the only way, and he remains the same. Mm. Listen, the classic. What they hitting right now. <laughs> <laughs> we're going through you know that's why right. you're not gonna spit out no garbage you, when i hear you crooning to the lord this is your personalization i can feel you brother because i can roll mm. with you on it mm. it's real and authentic it's not nothing phony and, and for the hits and this no 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 right. there's right. a word behind this mm. and the word is all in there for those that know the word come on somebody <laughs> I mean, I, I love that your stuff is never outdated, mm. you know, and that mm. goes along with what you're saying. You don't put it out there until it's forever. Mm. It's going to be the same, invoke the same feelings and emotions uh, when you wrote it. I mean, and we all do the same thing. And mm. the Lord always says, we, do, we don't mm. let it go unless it's of excellence. Right. Amen, brother. And I, I've always, I mean, when, when you guys originally did that video for me, that was excellence. Uh, you, you, you know, people don't, and, and to a point that was made earlier, people really don't know how much time, how much work, how much even sacrifice yes. it takes to do a thing right. It's, you just can't, you can't wait, you can't just give any old thing. You can't just put out anything and, and expect for that to be a blessing. You got to let it, you got to really take it serious and, and, and let God challenge you to do it right. Even. Amen. Because it all comes down to love. Amen. It's all love. Amen. You know, if I didn't love the Lord and, and, and grateful that for, for what he did for me, Apostle CPP from crack the prison to the pulpit. Mm. And, and I said, Lord, clean me up from this crack while I was in the prison, New York State mm. prison. I mm. said, if you real, I'll go anywhere and do anything for you. And that was in 1999. Who would have thought I would be doing wow. the things I'm doing? Wow. You know, and so Amen. when people be talking about um, 
Relapse is part of the program. I said, the devil is a liar. <laughs> I never relapse. I said, then got in that word and got gutted out, worked on them root issues, emotional abandonment, and the people pleasing. And when stuff would come up, I went straight to my company. Yo, you got to give me clarity on what the heck is this about? Mm. Why am I feeling mm. like this? You're feeling mm. overwhelmed because such and such and such and such. Oh, okay. We know what to do. That I wouldn't even travel in the city without some worship music on my head. Because mm. mm. all the stuff around you is hearing people's problems, this and this and that. And it was it, it just like overwhelmed you. I get on on anywhere I travel, my headphones on. We was we was rocking with the Lord. It's like mm, okay, mm. whatever. You ain't got nothing to do with me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you, to learn, you have to learn to utilize the tools that God gives you. Once you get the mm-hmm. revelation, it's your responsibility to take care of you. Yeah. you Want to do that? Amen. Amen. So I want to talk about the first song because this is this one here. I, I, I let me put it down. I said, let's keep on moving as a shifting of drama away for you song as you rock it out. Tell us about this one, Reggie. And before we go, uh, on, you can stay on if you want. I just want to stay on for a minute. Okay, go ahead. Tell us about that one. I I, I wanted to put a song out there that would make. I, I mean. I like to push the envelope. Let me say it that way. I I don't like being safe. So what I wanted to do was put a song out there that would look, if people want to put it in the dance club, fine. Cause that's, you know, that's look, that's where Jesus need to be. That's right. That message needs to be there as much as it is at church. So I want, I wanted something that would encourage people to keep moving Mm-hmm. To, yeah. to, to, and and give give you a seed message, but at the same time something that that would make you want to get up and move, like you said. That was exactly what I wanted to do. Amen, amen. And we thank God for that one because I put that on a little while ago. I put that on. I started speaking in tongue. I was so excited. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But that's what happened. Excited. <laughs> ready for the show. That's why he put this one on. Matter of fact, I put it on repeat. And I was like, oh, shit, kid. All right now. I was shit. You know, and that's what music should have you do. Shift in that atmosphere. Any drama. Mm-hmm. You know, no matter what's around you trying to uh, 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 hold you back from being who God has created. You know, people don't realize this spiritual warfare is real. It is. Yeah, yeah. it is, sister. You know, what I mean? it was, you know, depression lingers at the door. Overwhelming lingers at the door. This is right. all the enemy trying to get in right. to put you on pause. Right, right. Yeah. It's, it's just as real in Montana as it is in New York. Shit. As it is in Indianapolis. That's right. Same warfare. Yeah. And, and I, I, unfortunately, I live in a state where there's more witches and warlocks than Holy Ghost filled churches. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ooh, girl, I have to do a whole story in this state here. Unbelievable. Wow. You know, it's it's definitely a performance state mm. for God, as far as I'm concerned. What I have seen, and some it's it's just like mm-mm. there are no fivefold ministries. Mm. I have yet to find one other than me. You know, really? they don't recognize women. They don't want to acknowledge women. Wow. And there are no prophets. They don't want to deal with prophets or apostles here. Mm. So mm. I said, God, you definitely sent the right person up in here to sit and represent. Because right. I don't pay none of these people no attention. I know who I am. But you the can't limit people God. are so friendly. They're you, you, very friendly. And, and, and you can't limit God. You, that's something we tend to try to do in the church. Mm-hmm. And and we need to we need to be careful not to limit him because we don't know you know we we, we just the the minute we think we have him figured out <laughs> there's a whole nother corner I'm there's you. a whole nother angle there's a whole nother direction that God will come out of absolutely absolutely whole new door. yep.
just gotta keep on moving Keep on moving You just gotta keep on moving Yes you do, yes you do So let's talk about my the one that I heard many years ago, The Only Way. And I mean, Reggie, when I heard you sing that song years ago, my God, that's what I said, the gospel crooner himself. Of mm. That's right. <laughs> well, well, sister, I wanted a definitive message mm -hmm. that uh, spoke about the, the, the idea that Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. I wanted that definitive message to be an anthem even for that statement that he, he is the only way. He's the only way. You know, the, 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 I can't speak about all these other items. What he, Here's what I know. The revelation that God has given me is that Jesus is, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And there is, and in him dwells all the fullness. That's how I spoke. And, and that's how God gave it to me. And, and I loved it. I loved the intro with the keyboard. Oh, oh my God. Now that's Bill Woodson. That's, that's Bill, Bill Woodson. Bill did an outstanding job. Yeah, he did a great job. That intro lured me in. He did. And then you started singing. And I'm like, whoa. You know, that was another song I had to put on repeat. Man, I mean, I had to play a couple of days straight because I was in the middle of some stuff back then too. Mm, mm. And that ministered to me and I would just, the tears would just roll down. Mm, you know mm, what I mean? Because he is the only way. Yes. And then all this other stuff that's happening around, you ain't got nothing to worry about because you have entered in. Amen. Everybody. Amen, sister. Amen. Reading his holy word, Jesus is helping me understand his way. And his presence is oh so sweet, renewing my spirit with every passing day. Each day 
talk about the next one. He remains the same. Take my shot, Toto the boy. <laughs> talk about that one. That the the that song. Uh, I just it was it's kind of like a love song. Mm-hmm. The whole idea of just wanting to uh, speak about from an intimate perspective about who Jesus is in my life mm-hmm. through all of the circumstances that I've gone through. I may. I may not always be correct. I may I may change. I may I may not always be right. But you know what? No matter what the circumstance, he remains the same. He doesn't change. I am I am the same yesterday, mm-hmm. today, and forevermore. He does not change. And that's that's a message that is extremely important yes. for us to know and it was important for me to deliver. Okay, who did the music on that one? That was Bill Wilson. Yeah, that, that, Bill. Bill, 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 listen. Bill, I, I love his flavor. Wait, 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 wait. You know what? Wait, wait, wait. No. You know what? That one, that one wasn't Bill. That was uh, a young brother out of St. Louis. I'm I'm sorry, uh, okay. sister. Uh, a young brother, his name was Johnson, uh, Larry Johnson, okay. did, the, did the keyboard for that. And then I did the the strings and I did the drums for it. Wow. That one was uh that one wasn't Bill. Listen, they're excellent. Um is that young man still doing music? The one you just mentioned that did he remains the same? I, I have not been. You know, sometimes people, the Lord brings someone into your life for a moment and mm-hmm. then bam, they're gone. I haven't been able to see that brother, talk to that brother for years, for a long time. So I don't know where he is at this point. And see, this is the thing about people that God has gifted. Y'all got to believe in yourselves to know Amen. that God has called you to this position. No matter what the position is, right. you got to know that he called you, even all the naysayers around you, like Jesus had to put up with the naysayers. You're so right. He didn't pay them no attention. He right. even stood in their favor and said, you vipers. <laughs> and walked on down the road and kept it, <laughs> keep it moving. You know what I mean? And, and, and that's what I love about Christ because he's the role model. It does not matter what we think we're going right. through. Remember, yeah. he went through, so y'all got to have that same attitude. Amen. You know that you've been called to this position. Even though things are not going the way you you need them to be going or you expect mm-hmm. them to be going, continue building. Amen. Have some, have some, so the time your seed will be fruit. Mm. That's why I'm so mm. grateful for all my videos on my YouTube site. I don't care what people say. Listen, I, I put them out. People like, you did that? Yeah, that was years ago. Mm. Like, you know, come on now. We got to mm. keep building. Because God didn't say lay down and roll over and play dead. He right. said keep growing. Amen. Yeah. Amen. That you is know? true. So that when people go to say anything, like I told one guy who tried to be smart with me, I don't know why people be thinking just because I'm apostle that I'm a punk. <laughs> You know what I mean? He got all smart and flip. I said, let me show you one thing. The Lord told me to just tell people like you, where your fruit. I said, let me tell you, I'm going to do one better. Google me. Mm. Amen. I got pages on stuff I do. And that's what it's about. Where your fruit. Busy. Busy. Busy for the Lord. Amen. You know what I mean? So all these little slick, woolly comments, shades mm. of 50 shades of gray. Listen, I was a Webster child before I came into the Lord. So I know how to flip the script. And no, mm. I'm delivered from the bum of, of a rejection. I don't mm. care who you are. You don't pay my bills. You don't keep me comfort, covered at night. You don't put nothing in my fridge. You think I'm impressed with you? Mm. I tell them also, you got a problem with me? Take it up with the Lord. Mm. And they just hate that. One, because I'm a woman. Two, I don't pay him no attention. That irritates him. That's them demons in them. Because yeah. if you love me, I'm going to love you. But if you think you can come up here and say whatever you want to me, and I'm going to be, oh, the devil is a liar. Hey Amen. God, God, look, he, like you said, he, he ain't made us wimps. He ain't made us wimps. That's right. We ain't no punk on this front line with all this nonsense. <laughs> my Lord, my God, who gives me peace of mind, my own lay hope in these uncertain times, even when I feel I'm not all I should be. 
your love, your love, your love remains the same for me. My guide supplies my every need. You fill the void where emptiness would be. Though day to day commitment seem to change, your love, your love. Go to your next song. I heard this and I had to I had to hit the repeat a repeat on this one too. Born again is an altar call. I kept hearing that. Come mm-hmm. to the altar, lay it at the altar, which is a, a representation of the cross. Lay Amen. it there and get it together. The uh, I put down the piano is so smooth and drawing you into this message. Your voice of truth and smooth R and B flavor. I had to play this over and over. I kept hearing the altar call. Tell us about mm. that one. Now, now the music for that one was Bill Woodson. Oh, excellent. Bill Woodson, and and, it, and he gave it to me, and I I listened at it, and I said, um, I I didn't I didn't have anything initially, mm-hmm. but just you know, you know, you can almost say thank. I don't want to say thank God for the pandemic, but I do know that through that know. opportunity, <laughs> through it, there were things. <laughs> He made us sit down for a minute Amen. and, you know, kind of quiet ourselves a little bit. And, and that particular song, um, I, I just wanted to, to, to tell a story mm-hmm. about the, 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 uh, the guy who was, what, a Nick. very estimable Jew, mm-hmm. a very important Jewish man. Yeah. So important that he had to come to Jesus by night. Mm-hmm. And when he when, when he asks a question to Jesus, Jesus just cuts through all of that and says, Nicodemus, mm-hmm. you must be born again. That's it. Nothing, that no fat. He didn't give him any philosophical statement. He just said, you must be born again. And that man could have turned from him and said, well, what? What do you mean born again? How do I do I go to my mother's womb again? I mean, what are you talking about? He could have been so frustrated that he could have turned and 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 went another way. But 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 Jesus spoke directly to him and and made his message to him. And that message is clear for all of us today. You must be born again. Statement. 
Man, when I heard the lyrics in that, I said, wow, Nicodemus creeping on the down low. <laughs> <laughs> he was. <laughs> you know what I mean? And that's what, and you, and we know it, uh, at night time they talk about the freaks come out at night. No, the demons be coming out at night, <laughs> creeping on the down low. Come on there. <laughs> but he was curious enough to go right. and find out. Absolutely, that was the thing. Right. You know what I mean? He, he he was one of the few that said, "Listen, it don't even matter if this is how I gotta do. Gotta creep yeah. on the down low. Let me go and find out because his spirit had been pricked." Absolutely. That is true. Even we, though it took him by night, yeah. even though he had to come by night, yeah. he did come, didn't he? He came. He came. Thank God. <laughs> I said that was definitely an altar call saw. That's what it is. It's an altar call saw. Man might be the world. 
talk about this next one, Cream. What is the meaning of the title? The hook was awesome. I mean, the, the, it, now this this song is was the music came from a brother who is no longer with us. Wow. Okay. Uh, he Thank he, you, he Lord, passed sure. away about really. He gave me that song about. To be honest with you, he gave me that song maybe six, seven years ago. The music for that song, and he had the he had the the uh, the title Cream, mm -hmm. but he didn't know what it, he didn't know what to do with it. He didn't know what he's. I don't know. I just know that that title is what I want, but okay. he didn't know. I said Christ mm. rules everything around us. Wow. Or around me, Christ rules everything around me. That's that awesome. is the acronym. Ooh, I knew that'd be something. That's what I kept saying. Okay, when I see RM, you got to tell me what that's about. Amen. Yes. Well, I Free. thank you for that. And the hook was awesome. I I, I enjoyed. That was another one I had to. Put. I'm gonna tell you this whole. All those you sent me, I had to put them on repeat. You know, I have to sit down with music for a while. And so I, I can hear God talking to me through them and stuff. Because if I don't hear the Holy Spirit talking to me through them, first of all, you don't even get to the door. So I don't even wish like that. <laughs> <laughs> now, wait, wait. Now, 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 you know, there's a rap song out that, and I, and I don't know if you know, Emmett, yeah. but there's a rap song that says, Cash rules everything around me. Mm. I That's know. a song that came, it came out in New York and it was really popular for many years, mm -hmm. but I took that and I said, no, not cash. Christ rules everything around me. Amen. That's Amen.
Now, let's uh, talk about your song, Walking. That, you know, that one was an easy one to, to, to write. I just, I mean, now that's, that, that's another one that came from Bill. That was Bill's, Bill's music. Okay. That one was easy to write. It just, there are songs that, you know, sometimes they just come to you. Mm -hmm. And it just, the, the beat of the song, the, the way the song drives, the way the, mess, the, the music drives, I just, it just came to me very easy. I'm walking by faith. Mm -hmm. I am walking by faith. And the, and, the, and the different trials and the different things that happen to you as you walk by faith, because understand, the, the faith walk Ooh. is not easy. Yes, yes. But you got to walk and mm -hmm. you got to put one foot in front of the other. And sometimes you can't run. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you can't mount up with wings as an eagle. Sometimes... All you can do is just walk. Yes. You sometimes got to be like the tortoise because you're going to finish that race. Slow yeah, you got to finish. We ain't burning out. And it's okay. <laughs> I'll see y'all because I'm going I'm to get there. I'm a little slow, but I'm going to make it on through. One step Amen. at a time. One Amen. Step. I am personal uh, message that came from came to my heart. It's just the whole idea that, you know, sometimes when we love, we love in fear. Mm. 
we but perfect love does not per, perfect love casts it out amen perfect love casts out fear but but because we're afraid we're so tentative we're so afraid that we're going to get hurt <clears throat> we hold our love in we hold our expression of love in because mm -hmm. we're trying to make sure that somebody's not going to do us wrong but you know what the reality of it is you got to love with an open heart mm -hmm. and god sees your sees your 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 uh, attitude he sees your expression he sees your your offering and he blesses you and because God is love. Amen. Amen. Love is not for the faint of heart. It's sure for is. those people. You got to be strong in it. Amen. As, as, that's so true because even as, as a leader, me pouring into other leaders, you know, I let them know, you know, I'm coming to you because you're assigned to me. Mm. And you're assigning me because you have some bums in you that used to live in me. And who better to tell you than me how to get rid of them bums? <laughs> Give them the eviction notice. <laughs> and them bums can be of low self-esteem, low self -esteem, anger. You know, Amen. anger at yourself. Got to You're give right. forgiveness in yourself. You know, right. take care of yourself. You don't get overwhelmed. And, then, you know, and I'm very transparent with them. And some get upset and I don't care. I said, listen, I'm telling you, because I see them. I see them acting yeah. out. Yeah. And this Amen. is not what God wants for you. You know, and if it's making you mad, okay, take it up with the Lord and go work out that issue because you know how I am. I, I, I'll do anything for you, but I'm not going to let you continue in the crap. Absolutely. Absolutely. You from being a blessing because there's people assigned to you. The longer you hold on to that nonsense, your people, your sheep that are assigned, you cannot get to, to you. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Some, sometimes the biggest hindrance, the biggest thing that that's the biggest impediment is us or to us is not outside of us. Sometimes it's inside our own. Yeah. Head. Sometimes we have to get rid of that because that's where the fear is. And and we need and we as in the body of Christ must always remember with love and kindness have I drawn these. So when I Amen. chastise my people, my my pitch does not go up. I sit down with facts as evident by this and by this scripture, and da, 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 da. and if there's a problem, I suggest you just go and sit down and and deal with it. Wow. And for those that want to sit up there and bark like a dog, I'll be like, see what I mean. <laughs> Amen, sister. <laughs> Amen.
Amen. So let's talk about Nehemiah 810. That one is, <clears throat> I mean, you know, the whole idea of joy came from that scripture. I mean, the joy of the Lord is my strength. And it's not, it's, it's not my joy. It's not, it's, it's not a joy that the world can give me. But it's also a joy that the world cannot take away. That's right. It could be a situation where people are, are, are panicking all around you, all kinds of misfortune and mishap. But the joy of the Lord still, which is part of the fruit of the spirit, right? Mm -hmm. That's something that remains in you because you are a child of God and you are, and that spirit remains in you. It, the joy of the Lord can just, you, you'll see it in that dark space most because the, 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 the light of Christ shines most in darkness. Mm -hmm. So in those dark spots, you'll see the joy of the Lord just well up in your heart. And, and, and it can't be, people will look at you and say, why are you so happy? What, 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 what is it? What, what, you know, what is, what's, what, what's wrong with you? Nothing's wrong with me. It's just the joy of the Lord. And you know, when I listened to that song, it reminded me, it took me back to some years ago when I was in prison. And my son, one day I called and he said to me, he said, mommy, I said, what, baby? I don't tell grandma. I answer the phone because he told me don't never answer the phone except anything from a from a state prison. I said, mm -hmm. what? That one allowed me to know that they never told him what I told her to tell my son that mommy was in prison mm -hmm. because she had to get healed. Mm -hmm. They were saying mm -hmm. I was in school. I said, OK, he said, oh, really? <laughs> he said, mommy. Cause he, cause I had asked the Lord while I was in prison, Lord, let my, my let my family get to know you. Mm. He said, mommy, I said, what baby? He said, the Lord said, I am wonderfully and fearfully made. Mm. I am the apple of my father and I'm not a mistake. I said, I know Amen. that's right. He said, Amen. mommy, and let me tell me what the Lord, let me tell you what the Lord told me also to tell you, have no sorrows for the joy of the Lord is your strength. That thing hit me, RMG. That <laughs> made my day and it made my stay because for years that was on my business card. Yes, I've got joy like a river. I've got unspeakable joy. Not like this world could give me. Got joy like never before. Sometimes this world may try me. My peace may try to destroy. Yes, I've got joy like a river I've got unspeakable
what I mean? So when you came out, that's it, man. That's it. I don't care what's going on. Have no sorrows. Have Amen. no the joy. The Lord is your strength. Amen. You know what? The world may try you. Yeah, they're going to try you. That's their yeah. job. But yeah. but 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 the joy of the Lord can remain. It's it. That's it. And that comes to you having a, a real, not that fake, not that sometimes, not that selective relationship. Amen. Man. But a constant daily one with him. Legitimate relationship. That's with it. Him. You know, because I was telling some people, I said, you have no clue when the internet and everything else go out. If you ain't got no relationship with God, you're going to be jacked up and jacked out. That's true. That's true. You need to have not just the word down in your, y'all need to have some songs. And I'm telling you, one of the things that I have experienced over the years is that God will drop a melody on me mm. and I'll just start singing. <clears throat> Or I start speaking in tongues. Mm. And so mm. it don't matter. He'll, 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 he'll drop. Listen, he'll hit me with a program. Boom. And this will just go right through. It's our little time for him shifting something. I didn't know what's going on around me. Amen. Because this can listen, Amen. we are we're in the lawless times. You're right. You're right. And, and it ain't gonna get better. Listen, get we, better. Got, we got, we got, we got, uh, we got um Yogi on here. He done made seven decades and he's seen some stuff in his time. Wow. You know what I mean? Wow. I'll make that well, a couple of more years, but to see the things that have gone on from the time when we were kids to now. Mm. You know, mm. the Bible is alive. Oh my God. Earthquakes, wars, and all this other craziness. And it's like, wow, God. You know, I look, I'm looking forward to the rapture. I just want to make sure I get caught up. That's it. Yeah. I don't want to be left behind. I'm sorry. Yeah. I don't want to be left behind. Amen. Well, Amen. Amen. So, Reggie, I want Amen. you to tell us some of the things you're up to doing now so, and your contact information. People can reach out to you. Okay. Well, actually, right now, what I'm trying to do is really do some promotion mm -hmm. uh, of this music. Um, you, can, you can reach me at uh, MacariosProductions.com, um, and you, I don't know how, I don't know if you're going to be able to put anything up for that, but it's M-A-K-A-R-I-O-S Productions.com. That's my website. On there, you can reach out to me. I think you, you, you might have reached out to me before on there. Have, have you not? So, okay, so that's one. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm on Facebook. I'm mm -hmm. on, you know, all the others. Uh, with Spotify, um, uh, what Pandora, uh, Amazon. Uh, this album, I believe, has just recently had a worldwide release. Wow! So it Wait can be any. It can got be gotten anywhere where music is sold. And I'm trying to decide if I'm going to do. Uh, I'm. I think I'm going to do a, a limited. Um, amount of CDs and a limited amount. I may even do some vinyl as well. I know there's some people who want to do want some vinyl. Bill wow. Woodson would love to have a vinyl. Uh, yeah, that's a classic, cover. man. Those are classics that, that people don't understand the vinyl, boy. The <laughs> damn, the I know. Man, this I generation know. missed out on so much. Absolutely. You know, I saw a picture recently of the rotary phone in the chair. I said, the only thing it missed was the lock on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. A yeah. lock. I haven't yeah. seen that in years. A lock. You know what I mean? And then, and then we didn't have call word. You had beep, beep, beep. beep. Absolutely. You used to get frozen. Hang up on. You know what I mean? They Absolutely. Missed out so much. He missed out on so much. But Amen. I want to thank you, Reggie, for this wonderful interview. Amen. And I'm glad I was able to incorporate some of your old with a lot of your new. You know I, I really I mean? appreciate and people it. People could so. hear the testimony. They need to hear what was behind each thing. Doug, mm. Like each one of us are a living, walking testimony. Mm. Amen. And, and people looking at us, looking all good and stuff, but you don't know our story. Absolutely. You, know? and you have no clue right. what we're still going through daily as we're pushing through so much stuff trying to stop us. Yep. You know, we're people have to realize us. that the, the enemy's doing his job. Y'all need to do yours. <laughs> It's the reality of it. It's a job. Amen, I'm a job Amen. for the kingdom. He's a job for the darkness. Amen. You know, he had his chance to get me. He didn't get me. Well, look, 
The same behaviors that I had learned in the darkness, that boldness, stepping up, hustling for money. Now I said, the word of God says, you have not because you ask not. So could you bless the woman of God? <laughs> I appreciate that, sister. I appreciate that spirit. I appreciate the, the energy. I love the energy that I've always gotten from you. You and him, and I appreciate the, 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 the kind of support. And look, if, if there's something I can do, if there's anything I can do to to help, just let me know. Let Listen, me know. all I need you to do is sow a seed in the Joshua's House of Christian Artists so that we, we do. continue doing the things we're doing and to bring to the community. Uh, did you want to say anything before we, before we get off here? Yes. Uh, I'm glad that I hung around because I, I do enjoy hearing what you have to say about mm. anything, uh, mm. Reggie, because, you know, it's your words have meaning and real stuff behind it. Mm -hmm. And as an artist, I always want to hear, you know, for someone who really creates for the world, mm -hmm. for a purpose, mm -hmm. I want to hear what their inspiration was. Mm -hmm. Why did you create this song? What's the history? So to hear that, now when I listen to those songs mm -hmm. again, now I have another level yes. that I'll be listening to them. I'm like, oh, okay. And another thing I want you to know is that uh, he Lois, you know, we did an interview. I interviewed he Lois for my show. Okay. And I have completed the show. It's called Real People. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's about her journey, her mm -hmm. Abraham journey. We did one for the first year. This one's for the second year. It's going to be on, and I'm going to be setting up an event for it. Well, probably do. I might do a Facebook event for it too. But what's interesting, uh, the Nehemiah, uh, 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 a joy to the Lord forever, is interesting because that's exactly how the video starts. Really? <laughs> yeah, because mm -hmm. he always, always says that. She mm -hmm. says it all the time. So, mm -hmm. of course, I pick it up and I'm like, this is her. You know, and mm -hmm. and this is a message, and it's interesting that you created a song based on that inspiration. Uh, well, you know, I, 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 you know, God God works the way He works, right? He does yeah. what He does, and 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 I appreciate the fact that I know you guys, knowing you guys as long as I've known you, I appreciate because I've we we've, we've stayed in touch. Mm -hmm. You know, not maybe not all the time. But we stay in touch, and I appreciate that. I appreciate both of you in, in that same way. Well, thank you. To Look see, forward to it. Look see, forward to see, it. See, her second year of, 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 of her journey, <laughs> you know, it's almost like I'm documenting every mm. single year mm. of her Abraham journey so that we can share it with other people. Well, that's a bold move going way out there to Montana. I'm just, I'm yeah, it is. Bold move. And God said, I need you to do an Abraham journey. What I'm going to tell him? No, Lord. <laughs> Stupidity would have been no, because look, people don't realize when the Lord says you, look, if you're an apostle and you say you're his apostle, you don't have no say in what you're doing no more because you, you listen. Not. You're you, right. you, you picked up your cross daily to follow him. I didn't right. pick up my cross. I picked up his cross. Amen. And all the years he has kept me, why wouldn't he keep me out here? I thought mm. he going to send me really like Florida. <laughs> <laughs> but he sent me here because it's human trafficking so heavy. Mm. Domestic mm. violence, mm. drugs, homelessness. Mm. There's, and there's no, the social service here is maybe 5%. I put it like that. Really? And this, this is the treasure straight with its wealth unbelievable. But yet, they're not taking care of the underserved. Mm. Mm. Somebody wow. said, it's because it's a Republican state. I said, I don't care what it is. Yeah. It's not yeah. acceptable to God. Right, right. right. Whatever it is. Yes. <laughs> you know what I mean? And you're a state of wealth. Come on now.
was there for the taking Never knew that the wages of sin would make a pay Fortune and fame 